brought to you by GTA. We start with you. When the client comes up, uh, what we have them do is sanitize their hands. And go ahead and sanitize your hands. And we just ask them if they can kindly follow the arrows. By appointment only and also only allowing one customer at a time. The Department of Integrated Services for Individuals with Disabilities, or DISID, has opened their Division of Vocational Rehabilitation Facility for in-person meetings. However, DISID has implemented more stringent safety protocols in order to provide this service, explains Deputy Director Michelle Paris. It's really essential for us to make sure that our clients are being taken care of and we're we are practicing as much safety precautions as possible because most some of our clients are very vulnerable because of the different types of ailments that they have and some of them have more than one so we want to make sure that we don't have them being exposed any more than they have to be. Paris says some of their customers remain uneasy with leaving their homes and coming out into the public sphere but many need the face-to-face -face with their vocational rehabilitation counselors. Good morning Charles. Good morning. Welcome to TFU. But we've had a lot of clients that have actually wanted to come in and have that one-to-one -one with their social worker or their counselor so it, it depends on the client at that point. So with face-to-face -face, face -face appointments, how it works is we have to make sure that um, the client as well as the employee is, is safe. So uh, everything had to be by appointment. Nearly two months ago, DISID was able to open the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation Facility. And prior to this, during the pandemic, everything was done via telework, either over the phone or email. I personally have talked to some clients and they, and they like the fact that we're open to having them come in because then the explanation of whatever services they're being provided is more of a one-to-one. -one. So they, they have that um, assurance that, you know, we're not stopping services and that we're there to help them and guide them in whatever um, help they need. As there's a nationwide shortage of PPE, DISID has taken the next step to provide PPE using their personal funds. Paris tells KUAM they purchased their own plexiglass, but were also given hand sanitizer by Homeland Security to allow them to return to regular operations and ensure they are fully assisting their customers. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.